Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are in my kitchen. I'm going to do a little tutorial on how I tone my clip-in hair extensions. Don't have any in right now, but I do have some that I just got and they're a little bit more on the yellow side than I like. I want them to be a little bit whiter, so I'm going to tone them. So I'm going to show you how I tone my extensions. So here is just a little clip-in. And what I do is fill the sink with water, like I already have. So I've got lots of water in there. And what I'm gonna do is grab my purple shampoo and I'm going to squirt some purple shampoo in there. Just a couple little squirts of that. And then I'm also gonna add some regular shampoo. So I'm gonna squirt some regular shampoo in there. And get that all in the sink. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna kind of mix, and here you can see the water. I'll show ya. So I'm just mixing it around until that gets really mixed up because you really don't to put the hair through too much because it is not attached to your head. So you don't want to um, have the hair it's porous so it's going to catch on to the purple really easily and I don't want my hair extensions to grab that purple so I'm going to make sure that it's really mixed and my water is super purple I'm going to add just a little bit more regular shampoo into this just it helps to kind of dilute the purple shampoo a little bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my test strand so I'm always going to do a test strand first to see how it grabs the color before I do a huge piece. Because then if I ruin this, it's only one. It's just a single little piece rather than ruin a huge strip of hair. So I've got my hair strip here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it under the water first. So it's nice and wet. So it's not going to grab that color either. Um, if you put it in dry, it will grab that purple a lot more. So it's nice and saturated here. And I'm going to run it under the water and get that purple shampoo in here. And I'm just going to kind of run it around a couple times and let it get that purple shampoo doing its job. But you don't want to leave it in here too long because it will grab onto the color too much. So as you can see, it has already taken a lot of that yellow away and it's blending the extension so much better. So after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse it off to get any of that shampoo out. But I don't want that left in here. Let's see, look at that color. Already so much whiter. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my conditioning run the conditioner through it. This helps to keep it nice and moist. You definitely want to keep your hair extensions conditioned really well because they don't have any of the heat from your head to keep them in good shape. And they do end up sloughing off a lot more than your normal hair because they have nothing to hold on to. They're not attached. So they will shed. But if you keep them moisturized, it does help to keep the condition a lot better for a lot longer. So I'll put my conditioner in water goes from not hot to burning scalding in like two seconds. What I'm just going to do is just rinse. Rinse it in. And voila! They are toned, y'all. Then what I do is I have a little holder that I put my hair on and it's just a little um, like comb thing that suctions to the mirror. And so I'm going to put my hair on that and let it air dry. And then later I'll finish blow drying the rest of it if it's still a little bit damp. And then I will run the straightener through it. So as you can see, so much better. So much whiter. Takes off that weird shine that you get when you first get the extensions. They have that weird like wax coating on them. So this just helps. Ta-da! Look at what we did. So we're going to take our other two pieces here and repeat the same process. So make sure they're wet before putting them in the water. And 
again, same, same deal. So take them, run them through, let that purple shampoo do its job. And I don't leave them in there very long because I know that this purple shampoo can catch on to porous hair so easily. And I don't like that purpley tone. It's just not me, it's not my thing. I like white, I like white blonde. So I just run them through a couple times, squeeze them out, just to kind of make sure that they're nice and toned. And then run them through the water again to get all that shampoo out of them. They already look 10 times better. I'm so stoked to wear these. I haven't been wearing them too much recently. Um, just because it's been hot out. I've been in the gym a lot, so it really makes no sense to put extensions in when you're in the gym so much. But if I have somewhere nice to go on a weekend, I like to throw these in just to kind of give me that feeling like I have long hair because my hair is taking forever to grow, y'all. Forever. Look how white those are now. That is exactly what I wanted. So again, rinse these out. Make sure you get all the conditioner out. Because if not, your extensions will have a greasy film on them, which nobody wants. So we get that all ringed out. And then what we'll do is I'll put it on our little holder, let them dry, and voila. So much better, you guys. So you don't want to apply the toners directly to the hair. Never, 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 because it will catch onto that color and it will leave your hair extensions ruined and purple. And we don't want purple. So add it in the water, ring it around, and there you are. Toned, lovely, and matches much better to my actual hair color. So that is how you tone your hair. Extensions, how you tone your hair extensions. So let these dry out. You don't want to apply too much heat to them just because they don't have, they are natural human hair, but you want to keep them as heat free as you can to protect them longer so that they last longer and always store them really well too. So we're going to hang these on our little hanger now and we're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I hope that you enjoy. And if you want to see more content like this, comment below and leave um, your ideas in the description and I will see you on the next one. Love you guys so much.